and you you are catering to their needs. Dad, I need this. Dad, I need that. Dad, I need to get to school. Dad, I don't have my books. Dad, I don't have my shoes, my clothes. Mom, get me this. Mom, I'm hungry. Mom, where is my sandwich? Mom, my clothes aren't washed. So, but basically, that's as far as you can. Let's say you're very responsible. You're very successful. Okay, you're taking care of your kids. You're taking care of your partner. your household and you're running a business this is as far as you can go you can't go any further you cannot go take care of another family with their kids and their work let's alone 10 families or a thousand families can you can you handle that Look how concentrated you are of just taking care of yourself from getting up in the morning, washing yourself, decorating yourself, making yourself clean, making yourself presentable, taking care of your house, going shopping, doing your laundry, paying your bills, cleaning your home. I mean, just look how much maintenance work, how much of your time goes into physical maintenance than your environment that you live in. How much of your time is taken? And then on top of that, most of us have to make a living. Now you have to make money too in order to maintain the systems to be operating And that's a lot of work too. So how much of your time goes into making a living? Those of you who work for a living, takes a lot of your time and energy. So how much time are you going to have at the end of the day to dedicate to anything else? Or to operating the world or being in control of things? No, it's very clear. There is something, if you expand your awareness and you're open and you're looking at it, it's very clear something much bigger than you, bigger than me, is operating existence. And when I talk about 5D quantum awareness and how to reach it is to tap into this understanding, tap into this awareness. So what happens as you're expanding, you're opening up and you begin to realize that this awareness, this expansion, this intelligence is the same intelligence that is in re it's responsible for your well-being. It takes care of you. It's actually, it's this intelligence is paying the bills. It's connecting things for you. It's the same intelligence that powers you to get up in the morning and walk. It powers you to be able to use your body. It powers you to be able to speak. It powers you to think, to operate. And also when you're creative and let's say you're writing a book, you're doing any kind of arts, you're playing music, This intelligence is the one that comes through you and brrr, take care of things. So the more we become aware of this intelligence, because it's all over us, it's, it, we're, we're in it, we're a part of it. The more you become aware of it, means what? Means the less you're so focused and so being stuck because we're stuck in a way of being so focused on a and an individual entity a unit which 
is independent. This idea that this unit is independent and it's got its own authority and it's got its own sovereignty and it's doing its own thing. So as you're starting, your, your awareness starts to expand and you're starting to become aware that this unit is not independent. It doesn't do things on its own. It's doing and its operation is based on the whole. The vastness, this awareness, is what is operating through the unit. So, in 5D quantum awareness means you're rising your vibrations to a higher frequency. You're expanding, it's opening. From being like this, it starts to... Being like this means you're so focused on an individual. You're so stuck into this idea that you are separated and you're the one who's making decisions. And it's your fault because you made a mistake or it's your well-doing because you succeeded. You're so stuck there. Until you start to expand and raise, op expanding your mind, expanding your possibility, you're open, you're opening up to other possibilities, to the whole, to the expansion, to the intelligence. You're willing at this point to let go of a one way of thinking to a possibility that there is a lot more than what you thought, what you've been told, what you've been taught. It's a lot more than that. And in that openness, you begin to get a glimpse of a much bigger part of yourself. And as a result of getting an idea that you're a lot more than what you thought you were, then information starts to come, wisdom starts to come, because, because you're getting access to the library of the Alexandria. You're getting access to the internet, universal internet, where information is there. Because you're not so focused and so closed-minded that you're the only thing there is. <laughs>